everyone, I'm Drug Farmer, and welcome to the guy in the basement. I'm the guy. That's the basement. So, here we go with the show. I call it Wally World. We've seen a lot of things at Wally World that we didn't want to see, but yet we saw. We saw we see things at Wally World that we just want to try to ignore and walk away from, but yet we don't because our curiosity. And by the way, I'm having a bad hair day. We're also, we see the employees at Wally World. Now, some of these employees are nice. Now, don't get me wrong. Then there are some, if you really kind of look at them, kind of observe them a little bit, they look like they're manic depressants. Honest to God, they don't look like they want to be there. They're just there because they need the money. You know, you know what I'm saying? They're like, God, my life sucks. I'm working here at Wally World. I thought I'd be out of here within a few months, but no, I've been here for 10 years. My world is just collapsing. And I'm working at Wally World. <laughs> Why can't these people leave me alone? I'm just here to collect my paycheck. Maybe if I go in back, I can ignore all of them. <laughs> there are some workers at Wally World who do that. Trust me, I've seen it. And it happened to me once. It did. A few years back, I went to Wally World to get a to get something. So I go into Wally World. It was on a Saturday. Went into World, Wally World looking for it. They didn't have it on the shelf. So I saw this person. I assumed they worked in this area. I went up to him. He kept walking away. He saw me, but he kept walking away. Okay, well, you don't want to play Mr. Little Helper, do you? No, he kept walking away. I'm going, sir, hello. But no, the dumb bastard kept walking away. I went, oh, that's freaking great. All right, what do I do? Oh, yeah, logically, I go find another person, which I did. I went out and found another person. Raise the roof. And so I went and found this person, and I asked him, uh, could you help me? I'm looking for this special product, you know, this product. And he goes, sorry, sir, I don't work in this area. Really? <laughs> okay, I knew God had a sense of humor, but this is getting a little too far. So I said, oh, well, do you, anybody in this area, do you know anybody who works in this area? Well, I'll go get them. Okay. Okay, 10 minutes later, while I'm sitting in the middle of Wally World with my thumb up my ass, here comes a person. Man, by the way, it was the same person that walked away from me five minutes ago. Oh, I was, I was, I was thinking to myself, I would love to tear this guy a new asshole, but I couldn't. I didn't. I didn't want to, but it, that, mm, that close. And here he comes. How can I help you, sir? I'm thinking to myself, well, you dumbass, you could have helped me five minutes ago, but no, you kept walking away. So I told him what I needed. <laughs> and he said, well, I'll be I'll be right back, sir. We'll see if we have it in back. All right. Here I am. Once again, sitting in the middle of Wally World with my thumb up my ass. So I'm sitting there looking around, kind of wondering, just for a minute. Um, 15 minutes later, I'm thinking, where did this guy go? Freaking China? As I was thinking that, here he comes walking out of the door. I was like, oh, great. Didn't have anything in his hand. I knew right then and then I was screwed. <laughs> Come talk to me. He said, sir, I'm sorry, but we don't have we don't have it. I wanted to kill him, but I had to hold my, my aggression back. Okay, okay. And I said, okay, thank you. So I walked out the door, got my car, had a couple moments to think. Let's see, what should I do right now? Well, let's just go get some lunch. So I drove my car, got some lunch, drove home, came, I came home, ate my lunch, and I realized I spent half the day at Wally World for one thing. I was done. 
I was tired of dealing with stupidity. That was it. And I took the rest of the day off. <laughs> I'm sure some of you people have ran into that. I'm sure some of you people have, it doesn't matter what the store or whatever, I'm sure some of you have ridden, ran into that and your patient level was probably that much <laughs> to the point you're just about to kill somebody. We've all been there. I've been there. You've been there. Everybody's been there. Don't say you haven't because you have. Now, another thing about Wally World, which is always fun to do, is when you drive to Wally World, sometimes, especially in my hometown, you see the people out in front of Wally World with their little cardboard signs. I don't have any cardboard, but with their little cardboard sign saying, we'll work for anything, we're down on our luck, we need money, we will work, blah, 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 whatever that cardboard thing says, they say it. One summer day, when I went to Wally World to get something, I think it was for some gardening stuff, if I remember, drove home, and I went in there and got my stuff and got out because I was tired of dealing with stupidity. So I got in my car, drove out, got my gardening stuff, and I started driving down the road. Now, these, these uh, uh, people who hold up their little cardboard signs are outside the parking lot. So as I drove outside the parking lot, there was, I think, three of them. They were all standing there with cardboard signs saying how much they're down in their luck, um, and, then what, and they need money, and all this, that, and whatever they said on their little card they had. And so I'm reading it, and then I look over, and off to my left, there was a big sign that says, Wally World, now hiring! Then I looked over to my right, and I see these three people. And I'm looking, they're looking right at me, because I was the only person in at the red light. I was at a red light, I was trapped. And, and they're looking at me, and me... Being a smart ass and I am, they were looking at me, so I said, you know what? And I started and I pointed at the sign. <laughs> I'm sitting in, I'm serious. They're just kind of looking at me like. <laughs> then, it really, then it dawned on me, these assholes don't want to work. They just want a free handout. That's all they want, you know? I mean, there it was in black and white, now hiring, and here they are, I'm like, huh? Ah, uh, and I drove off, and I'm just, I shook my head. I was like, well, if you need money, why don't you try finding a job? Because they look pretty healthy to me, I mean, you know, but they're, they're just doing it. They're just doing it for free handouts, which I, I can't stand. People like that, I cannot stand. If, they're, if you're not able to freaking work, don't stand on the corner with a sign telling me a bunch of bullshit stories about your bullshit life. That you can't work, and what's the reason again why? Oh, wait, I have trauma. I have a medical condition. Um, What's, what's another one? I have PSTD, or whatever that is. PTSD, that's it. I have that. Um, I have anxiety. I have this. I have that. Then why in the hell are you living? Why are you still breathing? First of all, these are the kind of people that you just want to get out of your car and just slap them across the head and say, wake the fuck up, get into reality, get a job, and stop being a bunch of fucking lying bastards who stand on a street corner holding up a cardboard sign and by the way, two of those people had brand new shoes on. So, yeah. And they're like little con artists. So, if you don't want to work because you because you think people are going to feel sorry for you? <laughs> Not me. Not me, because when you're out there on the sign with brand new shoes on, or they're probably worth about a hundred bucks. No, 
Now, but I did give you a hint. <laughs> there was that sign that said help wanted at Wally World. But what the hell do I know? I'm just a guy in a basement. Hit that like button. Leave a comment if you want. Leave a comment. Ask, tell me how insane I really am. Also, hit that subscribe button because there's more insanity this year, folks. Or you can email me at drunkfarmer67 at gmail.com. Woo! Until then, I will see you next time, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. I'm going to watch football. See ya!